Scotland's new hate crime laws were expected to meet a backlash. And here it was on day one. Protesters gathered outside Holyrood, voicing concern with a bill they say stifles free speech and can be exploited by those looking to silence particular groups. Among those angered are the author J.K. Rowling. In a thread on X, formerly known as Twitter, she lists a number of high-profile controversies involving trans women before questioning their gender. Freedom of speech and belief are at the end in Scotland if the accurate description of biological sex is deemed criminal. I'm currently out of the country, but if what I've written here qualifies as an offence under the terms of the new act, I look forward to being arrested when I return to the birthplace of the Scottish Enlightenment. On a visit to a hospital, the First Minister defended the legislation which he says will help protect marginalised groups. I'm very proud of the Hate Crime Act. Freedom of expression for me ensures that we've got a piece of legislation that will be enacted and implemented in a way that is absolutely balanced and make sure it absolutely protects people in their freedom of expression, but guards people from, as I say, that rising tide of hatred that we've seen far too often in our society. This protest has been organised by a relatively fringe group, but those concerns go beyond the margins, provoking debate around not just free speech, but also how the police enforce this new law. Which is why Scotland's Police Federation are worried about its impact. It is a recipe for disaster and it's a real concern. Every time a new law gets passed, the police officers then have to attend more and more calls. Now, our resource, we've got a thousand less officers at the moment, so it is going to have an impact on policing. After three years of debate, the Scottish Government wanted this to be a landmark piece of legislation. But instead, today could signal the start of even deeper division. Shingi Marike, Sky News, Edinburgh.